Adulting. It's hard. Have you ever had a problem in your adult life? Well, we have too. And we're here to offer you a bulletproof solution to your problem. From our wide range of experienced, diverse representatives, we will give you the advice to fix even the smallest of problems. Call the help desk today at 1-800-HELP-DESK. Let us take the weight off of your chest. Your call may be recorded for quality purposes. Help desk, this is Boris. How may I help you today? Hey ma'am, it's Tanner. Hello Tanner. I um, I need some help. Everyone does sometimes. You came to the right place. Tell me what's going on with you. Um, so I'm trying to order something off of Amazon and it's just not taking my credit card information. Uh Uh-huh. That's a bummer, dude. Right. So what am I doing wrong? We're not there yet. Don't rush the process. Oh. You gotta savor the process. This is a journey that we are on together. And you don't want to rush to the end of the journey without fighting all the monsters along the way. How else are you going to learn and change and grow? I'm not sure I want to learn and change and grow. Don't say that, man. Let's unpack that. I'm trying to order socks, actually, for my feet. I just need some new socks. Mm -hmm. That's what's happening on the surface. But that's not what's really happening. That's actually exactly what's happening. Little word of advice for you. I want you to remove the word exactly from your vocabulary. We are all faulty creatures. Our perceptions of the world are not necessarily what is reality. In fact, reality, which I am putting in air quotes, is not actually a thing. So you need to release yourself from the pathological need to know what is going on. So what is going on? Wrong question, Tanner. The question is, what do you perceive to be going on? Is that a question? Is it? Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. So. I perceive that I cannot put my credit card information into the open tab. Cannot or will not? Nope, cannot. Like, I put the numbers into the box and they don't appear. Right. Think about what you just said. You type in numbers and numbers do not appear. Yes. You type in numbers and numbers do not appear. Right? Why do you think that you're the master of numbers? Why do you think that numbers have to obey you? Are you some sort of number master? I'm not sure. That's the most true statement you've made this entire call. Let me propose a solution. Ask the numbers to appear. Ask them? You never asked them, did you? You demanded things from them like they were your servants, but numbers do not serve you. You know what numbers are? An agreed upon fiction. Think about that. Three does not actually exist. Three is only what we agree to be three, and three has refused to go along with that anymore. I I just want socks. I'm just trying to get socks. No, you say you want socks, but in truth, you are fighting a war with yourself about whether or not reality is what you think it is. You got to open your mind, man. Okay, so what, what do I do? Ask the numbers to appear. Implore them to your screen with respect. Okay, give me a second. Okay. Um four. Keep going. Six. Yeah, that's respectful. Five. How do you feel about five? I love five. Five loves you. 
Call five. Call her. Five. 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 Five hears you. I love five. Call the others. Call them. Okay. Seven. Nine. One. One again. One another time. Zero. Zero, please. My call. And five. And your expiration date? Why do you... Seek your expiration date into the universe. July 2025. Yes. <sighs> Nothing... Nothing seems to have happened. Boris? Boris, are you there? Um, Boris, did you just try to steal my credit card information? Boris? Thank you for calling the help desk. <laughs> Help desk, this is Brent. Hey, um, I need some help. You came to the right place. I know I did. What can I help you with today? I need help getting rid of my boyfriend. Um, I'm not sure I'm the right person to call. You help people, right? I need help getting rid of my boyfriend. He's terrible. I'm sorry to hear that. Again, I'm not sure I'm the right person. He's worn the same pair of socks for the past six months. Oh. Six months. Can you explain to me the mental state of a person who would do such a thing? I can't, actually. He breathes with his mouth open all the time. He's just walking around here wearing the same pair of socks, breathing with his mouth open, and he's like one of those whales that's sifting through ocean water to eat krill. I can't take it anymore. Maybe you should just try telling him how you feel. What? Have you tried communicating with him? Hey, Marcus, close your mouth. Never gonna work. He's too dumb. The boy is so dumb. He eats out of the garbage. He will literally open the garbage can and rummage around for food like he's a raccoon. And flies are going in his mouth and they're not even being caught. They'll go in and they'll be like, wow, it's really dumb in here. And then they escape. Every single time I see his face, I want to push him into a river. So why are you dating him? He's cute, but I hate him. Okay, um, maybe instead of complaining to me, maybe you should just try telling him how you feel. Why are you trying to deflect responsibility i'm not i'm just saying that you should you're try. deflecting you need to help me i am helping you you're just talking that's not helping i need action i need my boyfriend removed surgical action like i've got an 190 pound cis that needs to be excavated from my life and transported to the nearest landfill i'm not sure how i can do that come up with a plan think brent Think, be creative. Do you know people? People? Yes, Brent, people. Do you know people? I know people. Are these people good at getting rid of unwanted things permanently? I'm not sure what you're asking. Oh, you know what I'm asking. Are you really asking me to take care of your boyfriend? Yes, Brent. I am. Okay. Hold on. I've got an opening next Tuesday at 2 a.m. Three-person job. Your boyfriend will never be seen again. Are you saying you're going to kill him? Isn't that what you wanted? No! My goodness! What is wrong with you? I thought that's what you were asking. You are sick. You are demented. He's just annoying. He doesn't need to be whacked. You said take care of. Yes, as in give a 
job assistance and provided with affordable housing in a nice community. You said removed. Yes, as in given a ride to a newly furnished apartment near a farm upstate with a gym and a swimming pool with lots of other stupid boys so he can um, hang out in a healthy peer group. What is wrong with you? You think you're some kind of mafia help desk? You asked if I knew people. Where is your supervisor? I want to speak to your manager. Oh, come on. Put your manager on the phone. Fine. Thank you for calling the help desk. We hope you found this call helpful. Please visit our website at www.advice.helpdesk to fill out our survey for a chance to win an all-inclusive vacation in Barbados.